Good morning, Bobcats, and happy Friday. Thanks for joining me this morning for WBLS Morning News. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Today is Friday, May the 12th, and it's special area, day three. Our weather today is 88, a high, and 68 is our low. And we have a chance, about 30% chance of rain today. And from what I'm hearing, it's going to get hot, hot, hot this weekend. So you might want to find a cool place to be. Let's check out what's cooking in the Buck Lake Cafeteria. Today, we are going to have chicks and cheese or grilled cheese sandwich. You may choose from steamed broccoli or tomato soup. That's a favorite of mine. You may have assorted fruit, and you may choose from white chocolate or strawberry milk. Let's see what Bobcats have a birthday today or on this weekend. We want to wish all these Bobcats a very happy birthday. Happy birthday to Fred in Miss Vick's class. Happy birthday to Peyton in Miss Schmidt's class. Happy birthday to Olivia in Miss Shively's class. Happy birthday on Saturday to Elliot and Miss Dameron's class. On Sunday, Blake will be celebrating his birthday. Blake's in Miss Tucker's class. And Andrew and Miss Howell's class will be celebrating his birthday. If you see any or all of these Bobcats out and about today, please make sure and wish them a happy birthday. Listen, third, fourth, and fifth grade classes, they will be having a music show um, from 9 to 10 in the cafeteria today. We look forward to that. Just a little side note, um, please do not send anybody to the library uh, during that time from 8.45 till about <coughs> 10 15 as Miss DeLille is gone, and so nobody will be in the library at that time. Now, friends, I have sent emails and messages. If you pass the Sunshine State Challenge for your grade level, that's third, fourth, or fifth grade, or the uh, 15 for the Principal's Challenge, and you have not let Miss Young know, you must let me know. We sent out the invitations, and for all those children who let me know, and names was on the board, um, they got their invitation. So if by chance you met it and you did not let me know, you need to let me know immediately, please. Hey, we have an opportunity for our fifth graders. So just fifth grade 
listen up, fifth grade girls, if you are interested in playing volleyball at Swift Creek Middle School next year, they're going to have an interest meeting on Tuesday night, um, Tuesday afternoon from 4 to 5 in the Swift Creek Gym. So if that's an interest of yours, if you um, should have gotten a flyer, went home through Mr. Millard's email. Now, we have been getting books and books and books and more books. I don't know that I want to let him go. He's so sweet. and But he has to go home because you have not been slow turning in your books. And so, um, let's go ahead and draw. Okay? So, you can see this box is very, very, very filled. Okay? And I'm not going to look. I'm looking. I'm mixing it. I'm mixing it. There's so many names in here, guys. So, okay, I'm doing it live. Let me see who this is. Hey, DC from Mr. Ricky's class. You won the saw. Thank you for turning in your books. And thank you to all of these children. Listen, look at that, guys. If you have not returned your book yet, it's not too late. We need to get those in as soon as possible. So, DC, he's coming your way, and he'll be taking good care of Bobcats. I know that. Listen, we want to congratulate. We got to celebrate last night three really special ladies, Miss um, Jordan, Miss Ishley and Miss Molinax, we had a big celebration for all of our teachers of the year, our school related employee of the year, and our Glenn Howell Distinguished Educator of the Year. And so many of us gathered to celebrate them, as well as we have one retiree this year, that's Mr. Sean, who is now retired. You won't see him here anymore. So we are so proud of them. Speaking of one of the winners, it's Miss Molinax. So we want to welcome Miss Molnax after I sign off for Terrific Kids. She happened to be one of our winners last night, and she's pretty terrific herself. Listen, that's all for today, Bobcats. Remember to purr. Be prepared. Be upstanding. Be responsible. And always be respectful. And in case we don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Good morning, Bobcats. We only have a couple of Terrific Kid videos left. Can you believe it? Well, we're going to get started with the one for this week. We have Rhett Ponisuea from Mrs. Lazarus's class, and this says, Rhett tries his best to help others in class. He is kind and respectful to his teacher, too. We are so happy to have Rhett in our class. Great job, Rhett. All right, from Mrs. Darden's room, we have Shriju Tirupati, and this says, Shriju had an awesome week. He was kind to others and listened and followed directions. He is a math whiz and a very hard worker, too. Way to go, Shriju. From Mrs. Munoz's class, we have Jacoby Yarborough. This says, Jacoby has been very helpful this week. He's a very smart and sweet student, always willing to help out, and I'm so glad Jacoby's in our class this year. Good job. From Mrs. McLeod's room, we have Peyton Gumble, and this says, Peyton loves to learn, and she works hard in class. Good job. Also from Mrs. McLeod's class, we have Caleb Jefferson, and this says, Caleb is kind to everyone. Great job. Keep it up. From Mrs. McLeod's room, we have Kobe Thorpe, and this one says, everyone loves Kobe. He is a great friend to all in his, his of his classmates. So great friend to all, Kobe. Keep it up. Good job. All right. From Mrs. McDermott's room, we have Avery, Avery Caparello, and this says, Avery has been working so hard on her reading in Lexia, and I am so proud of her progress. Good job, Avery. From Mrs. Threadgill's room, we have Mary Rogers, and this says, Mary is a bright young lady. She has quite a wealth of background knowledge on a variety of topics, and she delights in sharing with her peers. Good job. Also from Mrs. Threadgill's room, we have Louie Shanigan, and this says, Louie is a sweet guy with a happy-go-lucky attitude toward life. He has a ready smile that he happily shares with everyone. Good job, Louie. From Mrs. Oschlager's room, we have Grady Bruce, and this says Grady is a terrific kid because he takes his time and does good work in class. Good job. Also from Mrs. Oschlager's room, we have Neil Sanjeev, and this says Neil is a terrific kid because he gets along well with others and adds interesting information to class discussions. Good job. From Mrs. Davis's room, we have Madeline Bigelow, and this says Madeline works so hard to have her turn as our terrific kid. She has taken a positive attitude and has set 
a great example for her peers as a leader in our classroom. I am so proud of her choices. Way to go, Madeline. You're terrific. From Mrs. Register's room, we have Abamanyu Bonsal, and this says, Abby is a great, amazing bobcat. He makes us smile every day. Abby is a great listener and a patient friend, and we are proud to have him in our class. Good job. From Mrs. Tucker's room, we have Mary Alice Fillingham, and this says, Mary Alice was nominated as our next terrific kid because she is a bobcat that is ready to learn. You can almost always find Mary Alice's nose in a book or she's organizing kickball games at recess. She also knows how to make her friends and teacher laugh. Way to go, Mary. Good job. All right, from Miss Ferris, Miss Schrader's room, we have Jasmine Watson, and it says, Jasmine has proven all throughout the year what a terrific friend she is. She is kind and helpful and always does her best in her assignments. Way to go, Jasmine. From Mr. Jones' room, we have Liam Head, and this says Liam did a great job improving on his FAST assignments this fourth nine weeks, and we are glad he's in our class. Good job, Liam. From Mrs. Vick's room, we have Jack Brown. This says Jack is new to Buck Lake this year. He enjoys working with his peers and is a friend to everyone. Way to go, Jack. Also from Mrs. Vick's room, we have Jovi Vu, and this says Jovi is one of our newest Bobcats. She is a a joy to have in class, and Jovi is always willing to help others and brings a smile into the classroom every day. Way to go, Jovi. From Ms. Bergman's room, we have Centonio, and this says Centonio has worked hard this year on increasing independence, learning, growing, and being a classroom leader. We are so proud of Centonio. Keep up the good work. Great job. All right, from Mrs. Picnic's room, we have Georgia Goodman. And this says, Georgia is a terrific kid because she is a leader in our class. She is kind and caring. She is always there to lend a helping hand when necessary. Georgia is honest and respectful, and we are so proud to have Georgia in our class. Way to go, terrific kid, from Miss Picnic. Also from Miss Picnic, we have Mason Worrell. And this says, Mason is our terrific kid for many reasons. Mason is kind to others. He always gets his work complete and puts forth his best effort. Mason uses his manners and is respectful to all of his classmates and teachers. Keep up the good work, Mason. Good job. All right, and last but certainly not least, from Ms. Ganaway's room, we have Landon Whitaker. And this says, Landon was voted terrific kid by his peers because he is helpful, kind, and a respectful bobcat who you can always count on to lead you in the right direction. I believe it. All right, those are some wonderful things said about our terrific kids. Stay tuned, and you'll see all their smiling faces. And Bobcats, I will catch you back next week with the last group of terrific kids for the year. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.